Hi folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Colin, call sign MM0OPX. In a couple of weeks time, it's going to be CQ Worldwide CW. Now last year I put in a very late entry. I operated for uh, about two hours on the Sunday evening. Um, and I, I amassed about 50 or so contacts just searching pounds. I'm not the most uh, not the most proficient CW operator, but just listening about, I managed to get 50 or so contacts, five watts through the IC705 into my off-center fed dipole. Um, so I'm going to have another go this year, but I'm not just going to use the off-center fed dipole. I'm also going to use a quarter wave vertical and a full wave horizontal loop. And I'm going to switch between those with my GM6DX um, antenna switch there. So, you know, I'm in, I'm in a suburban environment. And a lot of you, most of you, I guess, are too. Um, so, you know, you want to, you need to really pay can pay uh, attention to what antenna you put up. Now, a lot of us read the theory, we do the modeling, and if we want to work DX, then we automatically go for a vertical antenna, for example, uh, and perhaps say, oh, that's going to be better than the dipole, or if we want to work closer and stuff, we'll, we'll choose the dipole. But I think we have to think a little bit past that, because if you think about your suburban garden, you know, you if, especially if you're using a vertical, it's ground mounted. The majority of your radiation is coming from the lower half of that antenna. So if you have other objects nearby, your house, your shed, things in your garden, trees, you know, I have all those here. I have lamp posts. Looking at the window here, I have um, fences, a, a, a metal fence just behind my wooden fence there. So these will all have an impact on the antenna. And one of the beauties with a dipole is if you can get it high enough, even if the ends are only six or eight feet above the ground, where the majority of the radiation is going to be is going to be at the top of the antenna. So as long as you've got that in the clear, I think you'll find that perhaps the dipole is actually going to perform uh, better than the vertical. Now, it's during the day um, and we're going to be looking at 40 metres, so I'm not expecting any DX, um, but we'll just have a little listen about um, for what we have. Um, the antennas have been set up um, and we'll go and have a look at the antennas now. I do apologise if there's any bad language, we've got a football game going on in a minute, just next to the house here. So what you can see in front of you here, this is the vertical antenna. Um, well, I'm going to have a closer look. So this is one of my adjusty wave antennas. Um, and I don't, because I'm not linear loading here, I'm just running right up the spider beam pole. Um, I don't need the arm, so this is the wire going out, and this is it coming back. So what we do is there, we just run up the pole, camera will pop it over exposed here. There's a little pulley right at the top there and it just comes back down there. So I'm able to adjust to resonance for the reels, using the reels. And the same for the radio. This is the uh, 40 meter radio. And you can see that it runs out to those two posts and it comes back to here. So this, this is linear loaded. And on my tower, You can see my off-center fed dipole there, and it's very hard to see the wires. Now basically, a wire runs down to about three meters off the fence. I've had to actually bring it in a bit to meet the EMF regulations. And over here, you can see that little that little black thing there. That's the other end. Of, that's the short end of the, the dipole. And here, kind of ugly, but this is the this is the full wave loop. So this is the adjust the wave multi. So it's just lashed to this. Um, electric fence pole. Connected to this is a two to one ballon and then the wire then just runs away around the perimeter of my garden. Round back behind the little playhouse over to the corner then back to here. So that's the three antennas. So I think that's quite good for considering my small garden here you know I've got three three different antennas up and um, to cover 40 meters. And then they're all plugged into this little contraption here. The black stuff's actually um, liquid tape. I've used to seal this box up a bit here. So this is the, um, this goes back to the transceiver. So we have we have um, connections one, two, and three. We've got potential for four here, but one is the, um, one is the vertical, two is the dipole, and three is the loop. So I think what we'll do is we'll go and have a look at, at the shack and we'll actually go and, um, We'll go and listen to a few stations and do a bit of comparisons there uh, and we'll see what antenna is actually uh, stronger. You know, so as you can see, my, my noise level is quite high here. So, you know, that's kind of S7. So that's on the, that's actually on the vertical antenna. Um, 
if I change to the to the dipole, much the same, slightly noisier actually. And if we look at the loop, the loop's a little bit quieter. So we'll have a tune tune about. It's certainly strongest on the dipole these stations. Vertical dipole. That's the loop. Back to the vertical dipole. Loop. So I see that the vertical and the dipole are actually strongest. And then that's obviously just as a propagation of maybe changing there from vertical to horizontal polarization. You can see between the, the vertical and the dipole, there's actually very little difference, where there was more difference initially. I think this is a station down south. Vertical, dipole. <coughs> Vertical, dipole, loop. So the loop's actually uh, doing quite well there. So there's a dipole, uh, M3YSB, I think that is. Vertical, dipole, vertical, dipole, loop. So yeah, the dipole dipole's a winner there, so that's reasonably close to that station, that's probably 300 miles. So, whoa, dipole seems to be stronger there for the Irish net. Vertical, dipole, loop. I'd say that the loop was actually slightly better than the vertical on this. So that's the uh, loop. That's the vertical, vertical, loop. Yeah, I'd say that the the the, um, the loop is slightly better on that, but the dipole much better. That's the um, that's the dipole. Back to the vertical, dipole, loop. So good, good, good signal on all all antennas, but certainly better on the uh, dipole. Dipole, vertical, dipole, loop. Dipole, vertical, dipole. So yeah, seems to be some inter G running at the minute, and. Um, you certainly, if you only had to pick one antenna, you certainly pick the dipole. It's vertical. Dipole. Oh, and the loop's much nicer to listen to there. That's the loop. Dipole. And vertical. So vertical. Dipole. This is the loop. The loop is actually a much quieter antenna, definitely. Nicer on the ears. It's very strange as the um, conditions change that sometimes one antenna is better than the other and then it switches about. Right folks, there you have it. Um, I'll leave you to make your own mind up there. Um, didn't do any transmitting, I just wanted to do a little bit of listening. This was just about, you know, this was the, the purpose of me doing this was actually just to get three antennas up in the garden, get them all resonant. So when I, when I set them up for secure worldwide, um, they're all good to go. Um, but yeah, very interesting being able to switch between different antennas at the same time there. And not many of us have that, that function to do that. We just put up an antenna and, and that's what we that's what we use. But generally speaking there, I think if I could only have one antenna, it would have to be the dipole. Um, it was noisier than the loop, 
but but it, the signals were, were were certainly stronger there. Um, but didn't you notice it was strange how, you know, sometimes that the the, um, the the propagation you know it favoured the favoured one antenna over another and it switched back and forward. So that that's really strange. I can only put that down to the um, polarisation as it changes there because I do have a vertical and um, polarised uh, uh, antenna here. Um, okay, folks. So that was just. I just wanted this to be a quick one. It's probably went on longer than it than it than it should have. So thanks for staying to the end. Uh, if you've if you've done so, um, seventy three. All the best. We'll catch you on the next video.